Hi everyone, welcome back to another crochet tutorial with me, Pamelisus Creation. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this mini milk can that you can add to your Amigurumi's project. From my last tutorial, I did this mini balloon. So if you want to try this, I put the link down in my description box below. For the materials, I'll be using this gray or silver color cotton yarn, 1.75 millimeter hook, a piece of wire, some stopping, and then pen and piece of paper. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. So let's begin. Row 1, I'm going to start with the magic ring and then into the magic ring, I'm going to make 6 single crochet 1 2 3 4 5 and six and then i'm going to pull out the tail put your marker and then row two i'm going to increase the stitches so two single crochet each stitch i'm going to repeat that at the end of the row you should have 12 stitches Then next row, row 3, one single crochet into the first stitch and then increase next stitch. Okay, so I'm going to repeat that. At the end of the row, you should have 18 stitches. Okay, next row, row 4, I'm going to make one single crochet each stitch around, so 18 stitches, but this time I'm going to work at the back loop only, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, And 18. Okay, the next row, row 5 to 8, so 4 rounds of 1 single crochet all the way around. Each round you still have 18 stitches, so go ahead, do your 4 rounds of 1 single crochet, and then we meet up at the end of row 8. So then with my four rounds of one single crochet, next row is row 9, I'm going to start the decrease. 
then um, I'm also working at the back loop stitch only so first three stitches one single crochet so again back loop only one two and three and then next two stitches I'm going to make a decrease to three loops all together I'm going to repeat that all the way around at the end of the row you should have 15 stitches So next row, row 10, I'm going to make another decrease row, next 2 stitches, 1 single crochet. So I'm working in both loops, 1 and another 1 next stitch, then decrease, next 2 stitches, so 3 loops all together. So I'm going to repeat that all the way around at the end of the row you should have 12 stitches so I have three stitches left I'm going to make one in each stitch so one single crochet each stitch one two and three so next row row 11 and 12 I'm going to make one single crochet all the way around so again 12 stitches each round go ahead to your two rounds of one single crochet So done with my two rounds of one single crochet. Next row, I'm going to increase the stitches and then working at the front loop only. First, one single crochet into the first stitch and then increase next stitch. So I'm going to repeat that all the way around. One and increase one and increase one and then increase Increase one and increase. Okay, so done with the front loop stitches at the end of row 13, you should have 18 stitches. Next row, row 14 and 15, I'm going to make one single crochet all the way around. So each round you still have 18 stitches. So go ahead to your two rounds of one single crochet
So done with my two rounds of one single crochet. You can now fasten up the stitch and then leave tail for sewing later and then put some stopping inside. And then next what I'm going to do is bend, try to bend this two rounds of one single crochet so that you can see the back stitch stitches here. to make the name to the front side so with the marker just write the word milk and then cut it like a small cut it in a small piece like that and then using my glue I'm going to place this yeah Okay, so next I'm going to make the handle for the milk can. So get a piece of um, wire or if you don't have wire, you can use a paper clip. So what I'm going to do, this is about with, so about 6 cm. What I'm going to do here is basically I'm going to form it in square so first bend with bend a small part so about two centimeter and then and then again bend it like that so about three or four centimeter another one and another one so the rest I'm going to cut it like that Okay. So once you have this square form, you can now try it and then insert in both sides. Right? So like that. 